Hello, my name is Mandy and I'm an OBGYN nurse here at Kaiser Permanente. Congratulations, we are so excited to be part of your pregnancy journey. Today, we will provide you with some valuable information to help guide you along the way. The information we will discuss today is also available in the Baby on the Way book, which you received a link to or can obtain a paper copy of at your first prenatal visit. These are the topics we will be covering today. Kaiser Permanente has many locations in the region that provide prenatal care. We offer obstetric care in both OBGYN and family medicine from Longview, Washington, all the way down to Eugene. You will have a full team of providers who may be part of your prenatal care journey at Kaiser Permanente. The most common members of your team will be your certified nurse midwife, nurse practitioner or physician's assistant, OBGYN physicians, family medicine physicians, OBGYN nurses and medical assistants, pediatrician and lactation. You may also have access to perinatologists, social work and healthcare navigators, and prenatal support groups and classes. Hi, my name's Angie. I'm one of the nurse midwives at Kaiser Sunnyside. Let's talk about what to expect throughout the course of your prenatal care. Your first visit will occur between six and 12 weeks, and then we wanna see you every four to six weeks after that. At Kaiser Permanente, we offer three different types of prenatal care. One of those models is maternity care at home or KP connected care. This model allows you to do a mix of both virtual and in-person visits. The virtual visits, you're able to take your own blood pressure, listen to your baby's heartbeat, and take your weight in the comfort of your own home. Between 13 and 16 weeks, a nurse will teach you how to use all the equipment. Please ask your clinician if you have more questions about this model. Another model of ours is called Centering Pregnancy. This is a group prenatal care model and allows you to obtain your care with a group of other individuals going through the same phase of pregnancy as you. We love this model because it helps you build community, get education, and get care all at the same time. Please talk to your provider about this model. Another way to get your care at Kaiser is our traditional care model. You will meet with one of your providers every four to six weeks throughout the course of pregnancy in one of our offices. Here is a closer look at what your care could look like throughout the course of your pregnancy. Between six and 12 weeks, we would love to meet you. At your first visit, we will confirm pregnancy with an ultrasound. We will recommend lab tests. We will talk about genetic testing options and we will do a physical exam. Between weeks 13 and 16, we would like to order your anatomy scan, go over your genetic testing results, and talk about your mental health. Between weeks 17 to 20, we will review those ultrasound results and we will start the hospital pre-registration process. Weeks 21 to 24, we will discuss your ultrasound results, confirm your established due date, and order your second trimester labs, such as diabetes testing. This is also a great time to schedule your childbirth education classes. In weeks 25 to 28, we're gonna to start to talk about your baby's movements, review your diabetes testing, and talk about your other blood results. Additionally, we will recommend the Tdap vaccination and possibly Rogam, depending on your blood type. We will also start to think about your birth preferences. During weeks 29 to 32, We'll start discussing your birth control options. We ask you to schedule your hospital tour and we'll start to talk about infant feeding options. We also want you to start thinking about your pediatrician. During weeks 33 to 36, we'll review your birth preferences sheet. We'll discuss signs and symptoms of preeclampsia. We'll confirm your baby's position at 36 weeks and also recommend group beta strep testing will also schedule your postpartum visit ahead of time. During weeks 37 and 38, we will discuss what to expect on labor and delivery. During weeks 39 to 40, we will start to discuss our recommendations for induction of labor and what to expect, as well as postpartum planning. After delivery, we would love to connect with you and see how your physical recovery is going, as well as check up on your mental health. We also wanna talk about your birth control plan, infant feeding, and anything else you have on your mind. 
In the Northwest region at Kaiser Permanente, there are multiple locations you can have your baby. Salem, Eugene, Salmon Creek, Clackamas, and Hillsboro. Pregnancy is generally a healthy process. However, there are times when we want you to seek additional care. Let's review a few of those. There are various ways to get a hold of us. One is using kp.org and one is calling. For non-emergent issues, please use kp.org. For emergent issues, please call our advice line. Listed in your book are a few of those reasons to call. For example, if you're having vaginal bleeding, severe pain, or a fever, we want you to call. In the third trimester, if you're not feeling your baby move, or you're feeling regular painful contractions, we want you to call. Health is an important part of your pregnancy. Let's take a few moments to talk about how you can stay healthy during pregnancy. The old saying, you're eating for two, is not exactly accurate. Yes, your baby is certainly getting important nutrients for development from you. However, most people only need to increase their calories by two to 300 a day during their pregnancy. So that would be like adding an extra snack in each day. How much weight you should expect to gain is based on your pre-pregnancy body mass index. So, for example, if you have a normal BMI prior to pregnancy, you should expect to gain 25 to 35 pounds during pregnancy, and about four of those being each month during your second and third trimester. Your clinician will review your weight gain graph at every visit. You can also keep track of this on your kp.org account. When you think of two to 300 additional calories, that looks like a pear and a handful of nuts, a small slice of pizza, a banana and a couple tablespoons of peanut butter, or a half a sandwich. If you haven't already started taking a prenatal vitamin, now is the time. Most over-the-counter prenatal vitamins will meet the current recommendations of daily vitamin values. There are some specific ingredients that make up your prenatal vitamin that we wanna make sure you're getting enough of. Generally, it is recommended that you take 400 micrograms or 0.4 milligrams of folic acid and 150 micrograms or 0.15 milligrams of iodine. You can check the label on your prenatal vitamin to make sure it meets these needs. During your pregnancy, there are a few things that you should avoid. Alcohol, marijuana, and tobacco should be avoided during pregnancy and breastfeeding. Raw or undercooked meat are not advised. Foods like hot dogs and deli meats should be cooked until they're steaming to ensure bacteria has been killed. Certain cheeses like brie, feta, fresh mozzarella, cotilla, and blue cheeses should be avoided as they contain bacteria that could be harmful to your baby. The caffeine in coffee, tea, soda, hot chocolate, and even certain energy drinks should be kept to less than 200 milligrams a day. Certain fish have higher levels of mercury and should be eaten in moderation, 12 ounces or less a week. Some of these fish include shark, swordfish, king mackerel, tilefish, and tuna. There are raw eggs in certain food items like cookie dough, salad dressings, hollandaise sauce, and even some ice creams. Please read the ingredients list on these kinds of products when purchasing them to make sure they don't contain raw eggs. Liver has a high content of vitamin A. Excess vitamin A can cause birth defects. Unripe papaya has a latex substance that can trigger uterine contractions, which could lead to a miscarriage. Ibuprofen, naproxen, and aspirin, unless directed by your provider, should be avoided in pregnancy. Tylenol is considered safe, however. Herbal supplements you're currently taking or considering should be discussed with your clinician first. These supplements are not regulated by the Food and Drug Administration and may not have had sufficient studies done about their use in pregnancy. Any over-the-counter medications not listed here should be discussed with your provider before using. In your Baby on the Way book, there's a list of additional things to avoid. There can be parasites in cat feces that can cause an infection called toxoplasmosis. This can be passed on to your baby and can cause serious issues later in life. So avoiding cat feces during pregnancy is recommended. If you have a cat at home, you can avoid contact with their feces by having someone else change the litter box and by avoiding gardening in an area there may be cat feces. Hazardous chemicals and radiation should be avoided throughout your pregnancy. 
There are also certain cosmetics like anti-wrinkle creams and acne treatments that may contain retinol, which should also be avoided. During your first trimester, both hot tubs and hot baths are not recommended. After your first trimester, they can be used, but the soaking time should be limited to no more than 10 minutes, and the temperature of the water should be no more than 100 degrees. Saunas and tanning beds should be avoided throughout pregnancy. Exercise is safe and encouraged in pregnancy. The recommendation is 30 minutes of activity four to five times a week. This doesn't have to be all at once, and it doesn't have to be in a class setting in a gym. It can be something as simple as taking the stairs or parking further away from your destination. However, high impact activities or exercises that could pose a potential fall risk should be avoided. Pregnancy may not always be comfortable. Please refer to your baby on the waybook for common symptoms in pregnancy, as well as comfort measures you can take. Your book has recommendations for some safe treatments and home remedies of common viruses, aches, pains, and ailments such as heartburn, cold and cough, nausea and vomiting, and others. Please use this resource if you are feeling sick. Try some of the suggestions first, but if you still aren't finding any relief, you should reach out to an advice nurse. Another important way to stay healthy in pregnancy is to keep up your dental care. Dental care in pregnancy is important and should not be delayed. It is safe to have all recommended dental care throughout your pregnancy. It's important to consider infectious diseases in pregnancy. COVID-19 can be very serious in pregnancy. Kaiser Permanente, our professional obstetrics organizations, as well as the CDC, all recommend COVID-19 vaccination at any point in pregnancy. If you're not already vaccinated, please talk to your provider about getting vaccinated as soon as possible. Getting the flu in pregnancy can also be dangerous. We do recommend flu vaccination each year at any point in your pregnancy. If you or your partner have recently traveled or are planning to travel, please talk to your clinician about if it's a Zika affected area and how to follow up. You have several genetic testing options available to you. Please click on the link which will provide you with the information about the different types of testing available so that you are ready to discuss at your appointment which option you are most interested in pursuing. Thank you for taking the time to watch today. We are excited to be a part of your pregnancy journey. In closing, here's a few things to do before your next prenatal visit. If you haven't started taking prenatal vitamins yet, please start today. Begin the conversation with your partner to talk about genetic testing options. Write down any questions or concerns you have so you're prepared for your first visit. And please attend your first scheduled visit with an OBGYN nurse. We have many resources available to you. Here's a list of some of those resources. It's also written down in your book. kp.org maternity has excellent information as well. There are many videos with our local providers that you can go through. Thank you and congratulations. We look forward to being a part of your pregnancy journey.